What's going on, guys? My name is Nadim, and today, well, well, we have Onami finally. I told you guys she's coming out, and she's finally, finally here. So we're doing this standing up because I'm really excited, and finally, finally, Onami's here. Now uh, we're gonna summon. We're gonna check out, read out her skills, and see. Now, of course, step ups are still shit as shit, right? They don't guarantee two characters like they used to. It sucks. This one doesn't have an animation, so we're going to skip it. All right, we're not starting off good. Hopefully, we can get two extra copies of Onami before the guaranteed, though. All right, this one, we know we're going to get something. So I want the first four or five pulls of each multi because we know something's guaranteed at the end, so we'll just skip and watch it then. So let's see what we get. Please, please give me Onami dupes, man. You know, in the past, we used to guarantee I just needed to worry about getting one extra dupe. Now I have to worry about getting two dupes. So it's not looking... Good. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna take it, right? That's a level 100 chopper right there. Uh, don't have to worry about him anymore. But he was level 95 through running, so that's great. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing character to get. Hopefully, we get two Onamis in this multi now. Okay, it, it, there's animation, but doesn't mean anything because we're guaranteed something, right? So, I'm gonna watch the first few and see uh, what it's like. Uh, I might do a second rotation. It depends on how she's like when you play her. S yes! 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 Let's go, baby! All right, all right. So now if we do a second rotation, we're guaranteed level 80. So that is a great. And my Marco now is level 99. I actually have Bikini Nami gameplay coming to you guys in a few hours. So this is great because in that video, you'll see that Marco is only level 93 or 94. And now he's 99. So one more level. He's already running. So one more level. And, uh, <laughs> and that's that. So let's go. All right, let's skip. All right, so we only got one Onami. So she's level 70. We will do one extra rotation if, and this is a strong if, if I really enjoy her kit. So let's go to Survive 100. Let's remove the favorite. And uh, let's read what she does. So she's going to be a level 70. So where would she be here? There she is. All right, so let's see what she looks like. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Oh my god, I lost! Oh! Oh, baby! <laughs> Damn, alright, cool, cool, cool. What is this? So, 49 second cooldown, that's pretty long. A mid range area attack, nice. Sets an attack with a shock effect that damages enemies for a set period of time. It will be removed after a certain period of time. Now, if I stagger for a set period of time and acquire speed debuff, so you reduce their speed for by 10% for 20 seconds. You have a shock probability of 100% for 3 seconds, and it will damage them over time. Alright, we'll have to see what that looks like. Ooh, spawns a, spawns a clone. Now, this is dangerous, boys. This is actually very dangerous right here, because if it's like Robin, then it's going to suck. But 20 seconds is very nice. Spawns a clone that moves towards the enemy's treasure area. The clone will move forward if the enemy doesn't have a treasure area. Okay. If the enemy touches the clone, it deals an attack with a chance to confuse... The clone will disappear after it reaches the treasure area, is touched by an enemy, it receives damage, or after a certain amount of time. So what does this do? It just runs towards the enemy's treasure area? Does it capture it? Does it do anything? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when receiving damage from an enemy, 100% chance to reduce the cooldown of dodge by 30%. Whoa! Whoa! That's like Katakuri! Wow, when your strength is more than 80 boost capture speed, nice. When your team loses the treasure, reduce cooldown of skill 2 by 15. So every time you lose a treasure, you get the clone much faster. It's already enough small cooldown. When your team has less treasure secured, boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill 1 by 50. That's nice. So when you're losing, you get that skill. When you down an enemy, boost speed by 10%. So you can down them, dodge. I know some people really like this. I like it. I don't hate it. But I mean, for a trait, there are much better traits to have. So let's check her out, let's see what her skills are like, what her combos are like, and determine whether or not we're doing a second rotation, baby! Alright! Kind of looking cute, not gonna lie, man. Alright, let's see her dodge first. Okay, she has a teleporting dodge, not the best kind of dodge. Uh, okay, how many hits is that? One, two, three... Is that like double hit, the last one? I think the last one's a double hit. Yeah, so she has a teleporting dodge. 
Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool, not gonna lie. Oh, it sets a shock air. Oh my god, if it can stop them from capturing like Snake Man, that'd be great. Wow. All right, let's see what this does. So it's a spawns a clone and, and uh, a clone, a clone, and she just runs towards the enemy's treasure area. So as long as the enemies touch it, they're doomed. Oh man, she looks so much fun to play. All right, guys. So yeah, definitely looks, looks great. So she will set a tr an area like um, like the uh, the other one. So I don't know if this is like I like her dodge, man. I like her kit. So. I'm not gonna do extra summons now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait, test her out a bit more, and if I like her, I'll do a second round of summons. Uh, so the last hit is a two-parter, but it's so it's a four-hit combo. And uh, the clone, let's see if it has nullify stagger. No, it doesn't. So if you get hit during the clone animation, you won't get the clone. So you better start throwing it without anything. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right, she looks like so much fun, man. But we're going to have to wait and see how good she actually is. All right, we got to dodge that one. All right, let's see how far this is. This is a nice damaging skill. Not going to lie to you guys. Hey. All right. Well, yeah, so that's 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 that for Onami, guys. So, yeah, uh, great character. Looks fun to play. If she's good if i like her a bit more i will come back maybe tomorrow do some extra summons for now i'm gonna hold off i don't want to make an extra decision right now but at least i know i can guarantee a level 80 so that's always very very nice look forward also to the bikini nami gameplay that i'm gonna be releasing later today i was gonna post it yesterday but i recorded it late at night so i decided to post it after this video so yeah that being said hope you guys enjoyed and peace oh and before that, uh, should you summon? Probably not. Honestly, probably not. Like, she's she seems fun, but I don't know if she's gonna be game breaking. If I change my mind, I'll let you know in the comments. Maybe pin comment saying, "Yo, she's amazing, summon." So yeah. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy and peace.